Hello, I'm Pierre Desjardins, CEO and co-founder of C12 Quantum Electronics, a spin-off of the École Normale Supérieure. We are based in Paris, in France. We are a hardware company that aims to develop reliable quantum processor thanks to an elementary material, the carbon nanotubes. Thank you very much, and I'm very pleased for your invitation to this talk, Carbon Nanotubes for Quantum Computing. You can see a carbon nanotube on the left of the screen. It is the most minimal electrical wire you can imagine. It's thousand times smaller than the width of a hair. Carbon has been at the origin of two industrial revolutions, and we are using it again to build a high fidelity quantum processor. The fundamental challenge of quantum computer is that quantum materials interact with their environment and mess things up. Ideally, a quantum bit needs to be in a vacuum. No defects means no perturbation. No perturbation means no error. No error means the trust of the industry. At C12, we are tackling the error problem at its roots. We have selected the most minimal material for the qubits. After 10 years of research, a brilliant group at École Normale Supérieure has discovered how carbon nanotube extraordinary properties can turn them into the magic material everyone was looking for. The carbon nanotube is the perfect material for the qubit. We are using this discovery to make a platform to transform it into the quantum transistor, the core building block of a quantum computer. It resolves the quantum paradox of quantum computing, a minimal interface with the environment, while the ability to couple qubit between each other. Carbon nanotubes are drop off a silicon chip at the end of the fabrication process. Carbon nanotubes are hosting an electron and we manipulate its, its spin to make a qubit. We're really working at a blind spot of quantum physicists. We are working on the hardware side, on the fabrication side, to deliver to the industry a very good qubit. Why does quality matter more than quantity? To have a high global fidelity, it's necessary that every component needs to have a, as the, the error of every individual component has to be decreased. It's like a game where you pass a message orally to the next people. And at the end, the message is completely deformed. Adding more people does not help. So you need a very good qubit, but you need also a technology that can function on large scale. As you will see, carbon nanotubes have the potential of both processing quantum information with high fidelity and doing it at large scale. To tackle one of the most exciting technological challenge of the decade, Q and I founded C12 in 2020. It's a unique combination of scientific excellence and business skill. And well, being twins, a good deal of trust. The funding team include also the pioneer scientists from Ecole Normale Supérieure that I've mentioned earlier. Our early investors are very successful entrepreneurs in businesses close to quantum computing. The cloud with Octave Claba, OVH Cloud, and Alexis Licoque, Datadog. The business of simulation with Jacques Delacour and artificial intelligence 
with Andulac. In our sector, talent is rare, but talent is key. We are very thrilled of the brilliant researcher that came from all over the world and joined C12. They bring a unique expertise in quantum electronic and carbon nanotubes. Joey holds a PhD from Stanford University, where he studied over there to work with carbon nanotube. He then has worked for nearly 10 years at the Weizmann Institute as a senior scientist in a, one of the top group in the world on carbon nanotube. They have realized over there extraordinary experiments with this material. Kulbostan brings an immense expertise in nanofabrication with carbon nanotubes. Sergio and Maria will lead our efforts on calibration. Sergio brings an expertise in vibrating carbon nanotube and ultra-sensitive measurements. Maria has achieved impressive results on calibrating a molecular transistor. For the manipulation team, Hather is bringing a unique expertise in time manipulation of quantum system. Quantin is a theoretical physicist who has worked several years on the fine understanding of our system. We also work closely with academia, and Benoit is a highly motivated PhD graduate. A few more words about the tech. Why carbon nanotube has the potential of achieving such a high fidelity? First, because of its stability of the qubit. We are using spin qubits, and the spin is an intrinsically stable quantum quantity. Second, switchability. We can turn on and off the qubit. It minimizes a lot the crosstalks. Spectator qubits, those who, that do not compute, are protected and become a short-term memory of quantum information. Last, all-to-all -all connectivity. Any qubit can be coupled to another qubit on chip. Mathieu will tell you more about how we'll achieve these features. To reach stability, we have selected a neutral-pure material. Carbon nanotube can be grown with less than 0.1 nuclear spin. This eradicates one of the main sources of decoherence for spin qubit. A second advantage, unique advantage, is that carbon nanotube can be suspended over a, a semiconductor chip. This decouples the qubit from the noise of the substrate. Like ion qubit, we think that vacuum is the best isolation for qubit. To assemble such suspended qubits, we have built a patented equipment that you can see on the left. As sketched on the right, we use it to integrate mechanically the nanotube onto a semiconductor chip. This is done at the very last step of the fabrication process, so without any damage for the tube. The chip business is lost all the control line and can be fabricated in a semiconducting foundry. This holds great promise for the industrialization. And so we combine the ultra pureness of carbon nanotube with the scalability of the semiconducting industry. The spin is coupled to a microwave field to control it, like for superconducting qubits. This is mediated by the spatial, spatial wave function of the qubit. So on the left side, the qubit is on, and this can be switched off exponentially with, by simply playing with the gate, and then we can end up in an off mode, off mode like on the right side. 
to perform gate, we couple the spin to a microwave resonator, which is the same bus that is used for superconium qubits. The resonator, which is here the horizontal line, is a thousand times bigger than each spin. So we can envision to couple dozen of at least dozen of spins to the same resonator. So each spin can interact with every other on the line. So this means, for example, here that the, we can switch on the yellow spin to perform gate while leaving the blue one on a memory mode. This connectivity decreases radically the number of gates needed to perform a quantum algorithm. All along, the stability, the switchability, and the connectivity will be leveraged to build a processor that can process quantum information with high fidelity. In the short term, we really believe, we really have the conviction that the fidelity is the most important feature of quantum platform. That's why ION are raising so much interest. However, in the long term, the quantum platform needs also to be large scale. The C12 platform holds great promises to perform quantum inf computing at a large scale with a large number of carbon nanotubes. It is a semiconductor technology and it is very small. Our qubit is controlled by gate voltage, like any semiconductor classical chip. We envision that the winning quantum platform will be semiconductor. It benefits from all the technological advances of the semiconductor industry for the fabrication. And it has the potential to have more and more controls miniaturized on chip. The footprint of a carbon nanotube is 10,000 times smaller than the one of a superconducting. Of course, size has helped building the controls for the early quantum computers. However, in the long term, size increases the volume that needs to be cooled down. Like superconducting qubits, we are operating at 20 millikelvin. With carbon nanotube, there is no need of a gigantic dilution fridge occupying a wall soccer field. This is our second message. Carbon nanotubes have the potential to run quantum algorithm at large scale. What is our go-to-market strategy? We have the conviction that error reduction is the fastest route to fulfill your industrial needs. Non-perfect quantum hardware can be made usable if they achieve a minimum fidelity. By 2025, the largest market segment will correspond to NISC application. NISC mean noisy, intermediate scale quantum. Quantum machine will have a limited number of qubits without error correction. Quality of the qubit will prevail. C12 platform will be a prime candidate for a NISC application. Our first product will be a quantum accelerator. The C12 chip will be a coprocessor, a quantum coprocessor, of a classical system, executing hybrid algorithm. Because of its high connectivity feature, the C12 chip will show greatest speed up for solving graph or hypergraph optimization problem. By scaling up the number, we will be able to offer an error corrected 
universal quantum computer in the 30s. The potential outreach is phenomenal. But what about today? Our first technological milestone is to release a 5 qubit chip by 2022. It will set a new standard for quantum semiconductor chip. We will demonstrate trustable results and let our first partners run some toy models on it. One more thing. We will need to raise some money to achieve this first milestone. If you are an investor that shares our vision of a neutral pure material for the qubit, if you think that we have gathered the right team, if you want to be part of this adventure of building a quantum platform that has the potential of both processing quantum information with high fidelity and doing it at large scale, please connect with us. We have designed a very detailed roadmap to achieve this target. We are focusing on three priorities and we know how we will realize them. We know how we will improve the purity of the material by working on the carbon nanotube growth and its integration. We know how we will minimize the heterogeneity of this material by selecting the right carbon nanotube. We know how we will decrease crosstalks by improving the design of our chip and relying on a semiconductor production line for the fabrication. First, quality, then quantity. By 2022, we will start scaling up the number of qubits and automatizing the integration of hundreds of carbon nanotubes to prepare for the industrialization of our processes. Our roadmap is focusing on the hardware. However, speed up of a specific application requires a perfect match on, of a hardware and a quantum algorithm that optimize the resources offered by a processor. Our product will be the hardware. Our customer will be HPC or cloud providers will buy the hardware and the upper stacks. We are looking for partnerships on the software stack to develop compilation tools and best fit algorithm. How can we leverage the unique properties of carbon nanotubes? If you are interested, please let us know. With our exceptional team of engineers and physicists, and with our potential future partners, we will unlock the power of carbon nanotubes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.